True. We're talking with Pat Williams, senior vice president and founder of the Orlando Magic. He's been involved in the drafting of Dwight Howard, Chris Webber, Shaquille O'Neal, and Charles Barkley, just to name a few. And, and Pat, I know you can't go into too much detail, but what is the NBA war room atmosphere like? Is it quiet? Is it kind of semi-calm? Or is it lots <laughs> of disagreement and banter? Intent. It, it's intense, mm-hmm. uh, particularly when you're picking high in the draft. You know, you don't know how this is going to unfold. There are lots of rumors and lots of tales being told. And suddenly, you know, you've been working for a year on this, and now the moment of truth comes. And there's David Stern standing and saying, the draft will begin. Cleveland is on the clock. You've got five minutes. You know what you're going to do, but you don't really. You know, there were still rumors yesterday that they might take Williams. And, you know, you don't really know until that announcement is made. And, and then if you've got, <coughs> got deals going based on who might be available, Oh, boy, there's intensity there. And that happened with us last night. You know, our guys were really high on this kid, Harper, from Richmond. And uh, they had a deal with Cleveland, worked out if he was there at 31. Cleveland was going to take him, ship him to us. We'd give him two future seconds. And uh, and then the question is, Richard, will he be there at 31? Mm -hmm. You know, when you start sweating it out along about pick number 25, and you're, you're grinding every pick. And last night when Harper was still there at 31, I mean, our... Our scouts were just, you know, let out a war hoop. Uh, they, I mean, they, they really liked him and feel he can help us, and the deal was going to happen. And if he had gone, uh, <laughs> you know, a pick earlier, two picks earlier, oh, they'd have been devastated. So, yeah, there's an enormous amount of emotion uh, in that war room on game night. And, and do, do the Orlando Magic and the teams that you've worked with over the years, do they have a value board of, say, five guys that you really want to go after? Or, or is it 30, 40 names that you have a, a point system behind? Or how, how does that work? And, and rank them one through 60. You know, they, they, they've spent weeks and weeks with the scouts trying to get them listed properly and ranked. And, you know, regardless of position, they just, they just here's, the, here's our first guy. If we have the first pick, here's who, we take, who we're taking. Mm-hmm. Here's two, here's three, here's ten, here's twenty. You know, they work hard at getting them narrowed down so that when it's, you know, when it's time to make a decision, you're not there debating in that five- or th- two-minute window you've got. You know, you've got it all resolved. And, and when it's your turn to pick, you just take that next guy on the number board. That, that's generally how it works. You, you, you don't have time you know, to sit there in a debate with your scouts so in five minutes. No, I want this guy. No, 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 we should take him. You know, we never – now, sometimes a guy gets to you you never thought would get to you. And, and that can shake things up a little bit, but <clears throat> generally it's all planned out in advance. Pat, I read this morning that Jeff Van Gundy, the brother of Stan Van Gundy, the, the Magic head coach, he talked last night about how the Orlando Magic, they have a bunch of clowns on their team. And I thought it was really a reference to Gilbert Arenas. What, what do you say to Van Gundy's comments last night? Well, he and Stan, he and the Van Gundy brothers, you know, ought to become the Smothers brothers. <laughs> I mean, they are, they are the ultimate entertainers. And uh, freaking frack going back and forth. All I can think of is those kids when they were young, growing up around the dining room table. What, what a sight that must have been to hear them go back and forth. Now they, now they happen to be doing it, you know, on national television. Um, you know, I, I, that, that's his opinion. Uh, we've got to get Gilbert in good shape, get his legs healthy, get him back to what he was, you know, a few years ago. If so, you know, you've got a very explosive offensive player. So we're hopeful that come the fall, Gilbert will have had a good summer of getting everything healed up. We're, we're going to have a vintage year from him. Well, that would uh, that would shut up the critics pretty quickly. Oh, absolutely. Senior Vice President and founder of the Orlando Magic. Also, he's a motivational speaker, author of over 60 books. His most recent one, Coach Wood, and the seven principles that shaped his life and will change yours. Pat Williams, always a pleasure. Enjoy your weekend and, and relax a little bit. The NBA draft is over. Thanks, Richard. And I always like it when your listeners hit my website. It's patwilliamsmotivate.com, and my Twitter page is Orlando Magic Pat. All right, Pat. Always a pleasure. We'll talk to you very soon. Thanks, Richard. All the best. All right. Pat Williams right here on Miller on Sports. Very interesting. See, I didn't know that much about the NBA war room, how these picks go down. Although I did want to ask him because I've talked to a lot of my coaching friends and associates, associates that are at the college level, uh, professional level and even high school level, of who's going to be the better long-term NBA player, Derek Williams or Kyrie Irving. Last night's number one overall pick. Almost every single one, I think, 
Everyone except maybe two have said Derek Williams. Although they've said that Kyrie Irving will be at least a two-time All-Star. Fascinating. I guess only time will tell. Even though I can't stand that saying. Of course time will tell. You're listening to Miller on Sports right here on Talk Radio 600. WBOB. More of the show. A little giveaway when we come back. 